Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Hooper says, have you done a video on the living legend, which is Derek Trucks? I said, soon, soon, baby, soon. And then went down, searched trucks in my comments, trucks, 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 over and over and over again. Banjo Bandit react to Tedeschi Trucks Band, Midnight in Harlem. So I've heard this tune, never ever learned this tune, have not checked out the chord charts, nothing, okay? That's how I do things here. But, total caveat, I know who Derek Trucks is. Derek Trucks is the best guitar player in the game right now. Tedeschi Trucks Band is the best band in the game right now. In fact, they're coming to my area, I live in Baltimore, they're coming to DC, uh, for Saturday and Sunday shows this weekend, and I'm going to go. Uh, I'm thinking Saturday. Um, so if any of you guys are going, drop in the comments and let me know, um, because uh, my wife's never seen them, uh, and believe it or not, I've never seen them. I've seen so many videos. I saw Derek Trucks the first time when he toured with Clapton when I was in GIT in L.A. Let's go 2005, 2006, you know, when uh, Doyle Bramhall was on guitar, and I mean... He stole the show, you know, and this is before he had the beard now. He's not the, you know, established, uh, you know, elder statesman that he kind of is respected now. Um, especially back then, you watch the old Almond Brother videos. I mean, the dude was so respectful and deferential to all these great players. But then every time it was his turn, you could just tell the dude was a straight the prodigy isn't even the right word because he's done the work. It's, it's so clear that the respect is there um, and that time has been put in. But without a doubt, my favorite guitar player in the game. Let's go. But I've never learned Midnight in Harlem. I've not looked up the chord charts. Have never, I've never learned this. Here we go. But obviously he's doing slide. amps. All right, before I get going here, or keep going rather, let me point out what I'm hearing. Now, uh, again, this is one of those great things about some video to help you out with this. I know he's an open E, uh, and I know that um, he's playing slide. Clearly I'm not playing slide, even though I knew I was doing Derek Trucks. I'm a terrible slide player, so I didn't grab the slide, right? Progression-wise, 
This is a one to a four, E major seven to A major seven. Major sevens, not dominance, all right? That's what's giving this this floaty sound. And how I'm picking up on that is I'm listening and watching, but I'm hearing this, you know. So five, so over my E chord, five, six, major seven, six. But I'm not hearing this, I'm not hearing that shape. I'm hearing like it walk up like one, two, three. E, F sharp, G sharp, but then getting that, that B, um, C sharp, D sharp, that one, I'm oh, sorry, that five, six, major seven. So like, uh, let's hit the E in the bass. Goes over A, the same thing, right? I'm hearing that, uh, um, that uh, like, that. so that floaty sound that we're hearing, um, that's the sound of that major seventh, and I can tell you that that's going to be featured heavily in all the voicings that they choose and all the little stuff because that's that's the sound is that midnight in Harlem is that floaty kind of vibe I freaking love it what a hot lick so it's just those little things like that over the a so so instead of going you're starting. Uh. So you're over A, but you're coming in right a half step below that. On that G sharp, right? That major seventh of A, it's one behind, right? But. There too. I think I'm hearing that. Well, I came to the river and I took a look around. There were old men's shoes, there were needles on the ground. No more mysteries, baby. No more secrets. So that's, you're doing four, to a, to a three, to a three. I could have sworn before when they did that, it was three minor, or maybe it was a, a first inversion E major chord, so E with a G sharp in the bass, but that's G sharp major they're going down to. Before he goes into it, okay, we're lucky here because I just want to say one thing about Derek Trucks. We're lucky that he's in open E, okay, and he's going to do a lot of his lines on strings that are tuned to E, and this tune is in the key of E. And if you're used to my style of teaching, you know that I talk a lot about the differences between uh, key center soloing, chord tone soloing, and chord scale t uh, soloing. He thinks very much like a voice and does you know, generally key-centered style soloing. So he's gonna be 
thinking up and down E the whole time. So even when it goes over the four, you'll hear him hit a lot of those chord tones of the four, but it's very clear that the story is about E, E major seven. E with, really it's about the D sharp and it's about the G sharp, if, if you want to be totally with it. Here we go. That, that I mean, it's just so good. I, I mean, I can't even kind of play. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, that. that. And he's always, always is wrong, but there's so many times that he tags it, like great blues singers tag it. So you'll do like a major run, like an E, F sharp, G sharp. And then tag it with a minor third, you know. You know, I love that. You know, just that little, that's that little bluesy sound. I love it. Love it. He gives the nod. One time. Dude, you know, you know, there's so much you could say about Derek Trucks. I love, I love the commitment to single note vocal lines more than anything. The commitment to dynamics, the commitment to you know, we can't do this as fretted instrument players, you know, but the commitment to the little nuances that only voices, horns, you know, um, non-fretted instruments uh, can play. And we can do it a little bit with bends, but not linearly like you can with a slide or like a violin, a fiddle, you know what I mean. Um, that commitment to the little nuances, like that, you know, that, that, uh, like the little, adding that little minor in there to finish it off, you know.
you hear so many of those great little tags going back up to the thirds. Um, but he's such an incredible uh, key-centered player. That's important because vocalists, um, generally speaking, sing in a specific key. You don't hear vocalists truly modulate uh, when the band goes to the Ford chord the way an instrumentalist does when they're selling that change. When you're doing a full 10 out of 10 sell the change, you switch your scale, right? That's chord scale soloing. Uh, when you're saying a little something about the chord that you're going over, you know, you're selling the change, but you're not doing a flat out switch, like that's what key you're in, that's chord tone soloing. So you're keeping your key centered approach, um, but you're making sure to snag a bit of that arpeggio if you go over whatever. Key centered approach is, you know, I'm singing this up and down, uh, and I'm thinking my resolution point never really moves, right? And uh, it's, it's E, right? It's E. And, but you're playing minor thirds, you're playing other chord tones, you're hinting at other stuff, but always in a linear up and back motion uh, relative to the tonic. That simplistic approach is the hardest to do, which is why good singers are hard to find, right? It's the hardest, it, it, it's or good sax players, you know, anybody that can only play one note at a time. Getting that expression out of the simplicity, out of the single notes, is what it's all about. And Derek Trucks is just the nuts, man. I'm so pumped to see him. He's playing at the Warner Theater um, in D.C. Saturday, tomorrow. Um, maybe I'm going to post this on Saturday. Don't know yet. Uh, today's Friday. Um, but just I cannot say, and the band, the band. Susan's incredible. The two drummers are so synced in bass, the keys, definitely the best band in the game, led by the best, most humble guitarist in the game. I'm pumped. Going to the show. Going to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you're going. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, and most importantly, sending me links like this. These are genuine reactions. I don't pre-learn. I don't even check out the chords. Nothing. Okay? We do this together, and we do it live. Um, and if you like the way that I teach, you like the way that I play, or just want to support this channel, um, you want to learn how I teach my students, please click the first link in the description and join me over at guitargate.com. You can get all my courses for 10 bucks a month. Um, I'd love to be your online teacher if you don't have one already, or if you have 10 and you want something different. Um, love to have you. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Seriously, best band, best guitar player in the game.